Eager to, we talk a big game. After endlessly professing our love for Chevy Corvettes, Porsche Caymans, and Mazda MX-5 Miatas, more often than not, when the time comes to pick a vehicle for a weekend road trip, we choose something practical. Practical is three rows. Practical is all-wheel drive. Practical is quiet. Practical rides well. Practical doesn't make us look as if we're suffering a midlife crisis and practical gets driven. In our long-term fleet, the vehicles that rack up 40,000 miles the quickest are always minivans and three-row SUVs. As much as we love driving them, sports cars can accommodate the family or carry much stuff. So the Mazda CX-9 is practical, but it's not all Costco and Home Depot and road trips to Disney. The CX-9 looks like something Karl Lagerfeld would use to run errands on whatever his version of a nice little Saturday might be. A wholesale redo, the new CX-9 lifts the design idioms of Mazda's own CX-5 but also borrows some styling cues from the Infiniti QX70, the SUV formerly known as the FX. The big Mazda, especially on its optional 20-inch wheels, looks elegant enough to wear a designer badge. Some of what makes the Mazda appear expensive is actually its restraint. Yes, the large chrome grille juts menacingly forward and has LED lighting inside it, but Mazda's designers appear to have sculpted the clay with hands when forming the CX-9, rather than hacking at it with swords. Even the Mazda's paint looks like a budget breaker. Covered in a finely flaked hue called machine grey, the CX-9 glows. This SUV has the presence and style to rival Acura's MDX and Infiniti's QX60. It's the same story inside. Mazda's material choices look and feel rich. Many of the plastics are so finely grained and soft to the touch that they appear to be bovine based. On our top spec signature tester, sticker price $45,215. There are open pour rosewood trim pieces, aluminum accents, and soft brick-colored napa leather seats. The gaps are consistently tight, and the trim all lines up with an obsessive attention to detail. In an effort to bring the CX-9's noise levels up market, Mazda tells us it worked on suppressing the tire roar that plagued the previous CX-9. The replacement has a thicker floor pan, 53 pounds of sound deadening under the carpet and an acoustically laminated windshield and front windows. The work pays off with a low 65 decibels of noise at 70 miles per hour, for less than the last CX-9 we tested and the same as the Tesla Model X. Our only gripes up front are related to the seats. The driver's chair doesn't go low enough and needs more thigh support, and the passenger's seat produces the same complaints while lacking any height adjustment. As in the CX-9's brethren, the instrument panel is dominated by round analog dials. But unlike in almost every other Mazda, one of the round gauges is actually a color LCD screen that can display trip computer information and a compass. On all but the lowest sport trim level, which gets a 7-inch screen, there's an 8-inch touchscreen in the middle of the dashboard. It's a bit too far to touch while driving so the screen can also be controlled by the BMW iDrive-like knob behind the shifter. Navigation and audio controls are logical and easy to use with either the knob or the touchscreen. In the second row, there's ample space for adults, provided they slide the split bench all the way back. However, second row legroom comes at the expense of third row space. Unlike some competitors, Mazda doesn't offer captain's chairs in the second row. The split bench second row folds forward to ease entry into the way back, but the Ford Explorer, Honda Pilot, and Toyota Highlander, with their second row walkthroughs, make it easier. The competition also beats the CX-9's two-person third row. The Mazda's rearmost row is kid-friendly, but the Highlanders and the Pilots work better for adults, and each can theoretically hold three. There is a 14-cubic-foot cargo hold in the Mazda and folding its third row increases that to 38 cubic feet. 
with both rows folded flat, there's 71 cubic feet of space, but the Mazda is on the smaller end of the three-row spectrum. Also, you'll be doing the folding yourself as power folding seats aren't available. And while the rest of the class offers V6 power, the CX-9 comes with only a four-cylinder turbo. The engine displaces 2.5 liters and makes 250 horsepower on 93 octane and 227 horses on 87, says Mazda. On California's 91 octane fuel, it makes something in between and can run 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. It passes through the quarter mile in 15.7 seconds at 88 miles per hour. The Pilot and Explorer Sport are both quicker to 60 by about a second. The V6 powered Highlander is about a tenth slower than the CX9. Phones, Babylon's came